back at it again with the white van. So we're doing proportion now. We just look at uh, looked at before was what this was the elimination method. All right. So you know, look at that video. We're gonna have proportion, right? So, but we're gonna use the same two equations, which is uh, x plus y equals to nine. Equation one and x minus y equals to sorry, yeah, x minus y equals to one. Equation two. Yeah. Simultaneous equations, we have two unknown variables, variable x and variable y, all right? Now, we don't know what x is, we don't know what y is, but we can, we can argue that this x is equals to that x, and this y is equals to that y, the value at least, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to make x the subject of the formula in equation 1. So equation 1 is x plus y equals 9. Let's make x the subject of the formula. Now to make something the subject of the formula, right, we simply put it on a side by itself. Okay, so we have x plus y equals 9. On the left hand side, we have x plus y. On the right hand side, we have 9. So to make x the subject of the formula, we just need to have x on the left-hand side by itself, which means we have to move over the y to the right-hand side. Doing so, x would be by itself. So if you move across the y, now it's adding here. So when we move it across, it's going to be subtracting. So when you're moving across the y, we get x is equals to 9 minus y. Yeah, so this is still equation one. We just made x the subject of the formula. And we're also going to make x the subject of the formula in equation two. So you have equation two here. And you want to make x the subject of the equation. So we're going to move over the negative y to make x the only term on the left hand side. And because it's subtracting here and you move it over, it's going to be what? Adding. So x is equals to y. Plus, sorry, 1 plus y. Again, this is equation 2. So now we have x is equal to 9 minus y. x is equal to 1 plus y. But if you think about it, x is equal to this. And x is also equal to this. So we know that x is equal to x, right? So if x is equal to x, that means that this is equal to this. Yeah? x is equal to 9 minus y, and x is equal to 1 plus y. So therefore, two of these are also equal. So we can write that in the equation. 9 minus 1 from equation two, 1 Sorry, 9, 9 minus y from equation 1 is equals to 1 plus y from equation 2. You see. Alright? And now, we group like terms. So we have two kind of, kind, kinds of terms. We have numbers and we have letters. Let's group them together. Okay? So... We have a 9 cross here and a 1 cross here. So I'm going to bring the 1 over here. Now this is positive 1. So when we bring it across, it's going to become negative 1. So 9 minus 1 minus y is equals to y plus y. Same thing. Now we have the letter over here. So I'm going to bring across this letter over here as well. And this is negative, ne 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 negative y. When we take it across, it's going to become positive y. So 9 minus 1 is equals to plus y. Take it across. This minus becomes plus. Plus y. Now 9 minus 1 is what? 9 minus 1 is 8. And y plus y is what? 2y. And to find y now, we simply just make y the subject of the formula. Now this is 2 by y. Yeah? So... When we take over the 2, 
since it's multiplying over here, it's going to be dividing over here. It's going to be 8 divided by 2 is equal to y. y is equal to 4. And we can easily substitute. Since y is 4, let's put y in equation 1. So you're going to substitute y in equation, you know what, let's put it in 2, in equation 2. Equation 2 is x minus y equals 4. But we know that y is 4. So we put 4 wherever y is. Yeah? 4. Now, whoops, sorry. Equation 2 is not x minus y equals 4. Equation 2 is x minus y equals 1. My bad. My bad, right? So, when we put y into 4 into the equation for y, we get x minus 4 equals 5. Now, to find x, we simply make it the subject of the equation. So, we take across the negative 4 over here, it becomes positive 4. y plus 4, y plus 4 equals 5. So, we have x equals 5 and y equals 4, and that is the, the answer. And if you check our method back here for substitution, Different method, sorry for elimination, different method, same answers. Y equals 4, X equals to 5. All right? So just to recap, with the proportion method, all right, we basically make, we, we pick a letter, in this case we chose X, and we make X the subject of the equation for both equations. So for equation 1, which is x plus y equals 9, we may add the subject of the equation here. And for equation 2, which is x minus y equals 1, we may add the subject of the equation here. And because x is equals to uh, 9 minus y, and x is also equals to 1 plus y, well then 9 minus y is also equals to 1 plus y. So we make x the subject of the equation, and we make the right-hand side, or the other side, equal to uh, the other side. So we basically take what x is equals to and make it equal to what the other x is equal to, right? So that's how we get 9 minus y is equals to 1 plus y, yeah? Now, and then we simply put the numbers on one side and the letters on the other side, remembering to change the sign where it needs to be changed. This was 1, we brought it over, it became negative 1. This was negative y, we brought it over, it became positive y, you know. 9 minus 1 is 8, 1 plus 1 is 2, sorry, y plus y is 2y, and then you find what y is. Good. Then, you substitute y in any of the equations, in equation 1 or equation 2, and then you basically solve for x. So that is how proportion works. Good.